And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. A chance, emphasize a chance for some scattered showers to find your yard as we go on through the latter part of the day on Wednesday. Not everybody gets rain. These will definitely be hit and miss, and a couple of them will turn into some thunderstorms. 72 for the high, south wind only 10 to 15 miles per hour on average. Did you notice the sky on Tuesday? The clouds that were out there, those cumulus clouds were kind of flat on top. They're always flat on the bottom, but they didn't rise very much, and that's because we couldn't get enough heat, enough energy to lift the air into some thunder showers. So what we'll watch and watch on the left side uh, hand side of your screen there. See that's a little cumulus cloud bubbling up because that air is still rising. Think of a hot air balloon. As long as the air in the balloon is warmer than the air around it, it will continue to rise. But just didn't have enough energy. But a couple of these will rise high enough to create some showers, rumbles of thunder for the day coming up on Wednesday. The clear slots are usually then sinking or cooling air. Winter high temperatures, interesting data from the Midwestern Regional Climate Center. These are for the winter months since we're now into spring. They look back and look at the numbers. These are the highest temperatures recorded in each of these cities. Dallas, 94 in the wintertime. Abilene, 94. Wow. Amarillo, 84, 10 degrees cooler, but still, wow, that's hot. Winter low temperatures, Amarillo wins the day, getting down to zero. A couple of spots got the single digits, Abilene and Lubbock, Midland, Wichita Falls. On average, it's a pretty warm winter. So that storm system in the southwestern portion of the country that we've been watching for days and days and days and days and days is finally on the move. It's weakening a little bit, but you can see the rain that it caused across Arizona and New Mexico. It will slide across the panhandle, especially later in the day into the evening hours on Wednesday. So we'll start with a fair amount of sunshine, but then cloud up by midday through the afternoon. Little spots of green indicate some scattered showers. And as this thing still moves by in the evening, it will have enough energy to create some thunder showers. This model has been somewhat consistent in creating that yellow and orange area in the central portions of the panhandle and moving it eastward. That would be some heavy downpours. There could even be a little bit of small to medium sized hail, maybe nickel size hail, maybe a little bit larger and some strong gusty winds, 50, 60 miles per hour. But that's overnight. It's lost a lot of its gas with regard to the heating of the sun. But that chance is there into Thursday night, or I'm sorry, Thursday morning. And by midday, most of that moves on. We'll leave just a small chance later in the day of an isolated shower in a couple of spots. The seven day supercast, 40% rain chance on Wednesday. Then they'll be out there. It's just kind of hit and miss. We'll leave a 20% chance on Thursday, 65 degrees for the high. Then on Saturday, a 20% rain chance again. Temperatures a little cooler down in the 50s. We bounce back up Sunday, back down into the 50s early next week.